So if I'm gonna keep it a buck, when I went into audition, it was Skip and Stephen A. They had just announced that they were gonna be the permanent host and they're getting a third person. And they interviewed Jamal Hill and they interviewed a, um, mostly blonde women, if I'm honest. They interviewed a bunch of blonde women. And then Jamel Hill was one, and they interviewed me and one other black girl. And I, and I went in for the audition knowing they already wanted a blonde, because this is Monday through Friday on a popular show. You're not gonna hire a, a black girl, especially not a brown-skinned <laughs> black girl. You're not hiring me. Right. That's how I went in. Yeah. So I do the audition, and I'm like, I kill it. I tell my agent, kind of agent at the time, I was like, I kill it. But if they, if they give it to me, I'd be surprised. But I, he was like, how'd you do it? I was like, oh, I, was, I was a I, I felt like I was that good. I knew I was that good. And I knew the audition went well. I didn't think they were giving it to me. And I said, if they call me before a certain time, before the US Open, I'm gonna get the gig. And they called me. They were like, can you meet us at, you know, in our tent, in our special suite, we wanna talk to you. The guy who runs first take wants to meet you in person. Just make sure it's all put together. Like, she is who she looks like, you yeah. know, cause it's a physical thing, yeah. right? And she, and she is what she says. And then I get the job and I know it's a big deal, but they don't tell me it's a big deal because they don't want me to be nervous. They act like it's no big, it's like, come on, okay, we'll start, we need you to start by football season. You know, so it's October 1, you, we already a month behind, so start, start, start. So I get the gig and I don't know Skip and Stephen A. I didn't feel like I had to dumb myself down, which is honestly the reason why I think I got the job. I was completely naive. I didn't know Skip and Stephen A that well, I just knew them from TV and I thought it was, I thought it was a lot of bluster. I thought it was just what they did, but they are exactly who they are. Yeah. And so what, what comes with people who are really talented, because both of the, I, I say this and I'm not, this is no cap, super talented, they worked hard, they taught me work ethic. We would work six, seven days a week. We'd cover the Super Bowl, take two days off, fly somewhere. We, finals, it was brutal, back and forth, flying across the country. They worked hard and, and they did the homework and they came prepared. Nobody was unprepared, but the problem, was for me as a black woman in that position, and at the time, and we can do the research, nobody was Monday through Friday on a popular two hour TV show that was a black woman at the time. And they just, you know, they let me know I didn't matter. You know, and whatever, intentionally, unintentionally, it was, it was obvious. It was just like, you don't matter. Just be happy that you're here. Ask questions, don't talk. Be happy that you're here.